I love Quantrix and I want to make you a Quantrix master. Go to QuantrixAuthority.com to learn more. Hey, welcome back to another netcast. I'm Rich Lopez, Quantrix Authority. Sincerely appreciate you joining me today for episode number 248, where I'm going to show you how to create a chore chart. We all know that it's summertime and our kids need something to do. And a couple days ago, I had a colleague of mine who's seen me do some stuff in Quantrix in regards to product wheels and other manufacturing stuff that we have going on at my day job. He's seen my Quantrix skill set and he thought, I bet Rich could create a chore chart for my kids in Quantrix a lot easier than I could do in that lesser program, also known as Excel. And indeed, he knows that Excel is a lesser program. So he came to me and we were able to deliver for him. And really, this gentleman, he lives in Easy Living Acres. That's the name of where he lives. And I think he's totally easy living now because he's got a chore chart that is built in Quantrix and really enables scale throughout the summer to keep his children occupied. And I'm going to share this little uh, podcast with you on how to create a chore chart and maybe you can employ it at your house. And although you may not live on easy living acres in North Idaho, maybe your house will be a little bit easy, li more easy living because you've got this chore chart to uh, motivate and inspire your kids or at least to keep them busy. I have here a list of chores and then I have the sons here of Tyler and Zach. And what I want to do is I want to assign them a couple of days each each uh, weekday, Sunday through Thursday, uh, I want to assign them a couple chores to perform. So I want to add to this matrix, I want to add dates, but the dates that I want to add are only those days that are Thursday or Sunday through Thursday. I want to give these guys, you know, a little bit of R&R &R, uh, on Friday and Saturday because that's what uh, easy living is all about. It's really having some R&R &R and taking in that easy living. Anyway, uh, what I need to do in order to get these dates is I need to go ahead and create this kind of this date ref matrix. And what I'm going to say is my date here is I'm going to say date is equal to the date of D of D previous plus one. And all that's going to do is that's going to increment my dates here. I want to get a weekday number because again, I only care about through Monday through Sundays. So, or Monday or Sunday through Thursday. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to say weekday is equal to weekday or weekday number is equal to weekday of this. All right. And you can see that anything through Thursday is less than five. So those are the ones that we want to consider. So I'm going to say in date use, I'm going to rename this date use. I'm going to say if weekday number is less than six, then I want to add a format to this. I want to say text date. Uh, sorry, I want to text this number and the text format that I want is like this. I want day, 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 uh, month, month, sorry, month, month, uh, let me get the M right. Month, 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 uh, day, comma, year, 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 year. So if I if my weekday number is like that, if it's less than six, then return the date in this format. Otherwise, give me a blank. And if I do that, you can see that indeed I see Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, all the way through Thursday. I'm going to throw a comma in here so it reads a little bit cleaner. And what I now want to do is I want to take these dates here and put them across the top here. And I do that by simply going into this matrix, adding a new item configuring it using generate items and i'm going to use matrix to date use i'm going to save that and i'm going to move this as a dates if you will i'm going to move them up to the top to above sun and you can see that july 17th through the 18th 19th 20th 21st and then i skip over to sunday and sorry this is june i go to sunday so I'm skipping the weekends or Friday and Saturday, again, so that they can enjoy easy living. So that's how I would create those uh, dynamically and have them appear correctly instead of having to try to figure out how I'm going to hide Fridays. So it looks really good now. We're not quite done yet. So what I've done is I've added another matrix here that I'm calling matrix three. 
And what I want to do with it is I want to be able to put in some number here, some integer, and have it display the first week, the second week, the third week. And again, the first week of dates are these, the second week of dates are these, and the third week are these. And how I calculate and assign them to, I guess, weeks, if you will, is by using uh, the int function within Quantrix. And what int does is it calculates uh, the quotient of a number. And the, what number that I want to take the quotient of is simply the index of where my dates are on this uh, spectrum of D, if you will. So if I were to go hashtag D, enter, and I were to format this correctly, you could see that it is simply one through, uh, you know, the end of my index, which I believe is, is 112 down here. And what the int function does if I go ahead and I int this, and I divide this by 7, right, it gives me the quotient of these divided by 7. The thing is, is I want to identify this not as week 0, but as week 1. So I'm going to add a 1 to that, and that will then increment the following as of week 2 as well, and this is week 1. I also do not care about the blank items here. I don't want to consider them. So what I would simply say is I would say, I would wrap this and then I would times it by some Boolean logic and I would say not is blank. So if this is blank, then don't return it. And you can see that this is week one, this is week two, and this is week three. Now what I want to do is I need to add another item here, and I'm just going to simply call it filter. And on filter, I'm going to say uh, filter equals select. What do I want to select? I want to select this value here. And what is my lookup list? It is actually this guy here. And what are my dates? They are going to be the at date here. And if I go ahead and I enter that, you can see that I see 1, 2, 3, 4, and I can see the incrementers uh, occurring here. But then I want to apply some Boolean logic and only bring back those dates that are, or only those dates that are associated with this week. So I said uh, equals, sorry, if I'm doing Boolean, it should be equals that. And you can see that when I have 1, only these ones are identifying in week one because that's what they are. If I go to week two, then they're zero. But if I were to change this and call this week, and I were to change this to two, then I would see two appear and the rest be blank. And I'm going to actually close this so you can see the whole array. Now what you do is you simply apply a filter to this. Uh, I'm going to filter for ones. I click OK move this guy over here so now on if i'm on week two and i'm going to collapse this if i'm on week two i can go and i can see that week two is june 24th through thursday june 28th if i wanted to do week three again it it increments just as you would expect and so now i can populate what chores tyler and zach need to do in order to achieve the weekend and achieve some cash flow on easy living acres. Also, I love the scalability with this that, you know, maybe they're tired of scoop and poop and they want it changed or they don't want to do that as much. Well, I'd tell them to keep doing it, but maybe you want to have a little bit of mercy on them. So you say, well, they need to do some sort of service for somebody. It doesn't matter. Or maybe they need to go to familysearch.org and they need to, you know, search out some ancestors or maybe do some in indexing on familysearch.org so you would maybe assign them a task of family search so again it adds a scalability to a chore chart and you're able to really manage it quite easily simply by uh, changing the week here within quantrix modeler and i just absolutely love it i think there's a solution i think quantrix is the solution for everything and indeed it's a solution for doing a chore chart and if you end up creating a chore chart for your kids in Quantrix for this summer, I man, I would love to hear about it. So send it to me. Let me know that you've done it. And heck, I'll, I'll feature your chore chart on the podcast. 
And if you have any questions about Quantrix, I do hope that you'll reach out to me at quantrixauthority at gmail.com. I want you to know that I absolutely love Quantrix. I want to make you a Quantrix master. So feel free to reach out to me with any questions. And if you need any sort of help with model building, I'd be more than happy to enter into maybe a longer term commitment with you. Anyway, join me again for another episode of Quantrix Authority with Rich Lopez. Today's podcast is brought to you by QuantrixAuthority.com. I love Quantrix and I want to make you a Quantrix master.